Hi, I'm Peter Johansson. I'm the lead game designer of Just Cause 2. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an introduction to what gameplay is like in Just Cause 2. So here I am at the rooftop of the skyscraper, over 600 meters or 2,000 feet above sea level. I'm gonna start off with some free roaming gameplay. I really wanna get down to that military base below. So all I need to do now is take to the sky. Base jumping is something that you do a lot in the game. I think the record base jump in the office at the moment is just about 1500 meters. So we'll see if you can beat that when the game comes out. The parachute is really fun to control now. It's fully reusable and handles like a stunt parachute. And as you can see I can use the grappling hook while parachuting to slingshot my way around. I want to use that boat over there to go to the military base. So I'll just steer this parachute towards it and then just quickly stunt jump directly to the boat. This boat here is one of over 100 vehicles in the game. We worked a lot on getting more variety between different vehicles this time around. I'm heading towards that military harbor base over there. What I'm gonna try to do now is to attack the base, eliminate hostile troops and create enough chaos to unlock a new mission. I open the parachute there in mid-air to make a quick escape from the vehicle. And now I'm going for that guy on the roof because that's a vantage point I want for myself. The key to survival during combat is to keep moving, and the grappling hook is really handy for that. It can be used to reel into objects to quickly move around. I can freely aim and fire my weapons from reeled in position, and I can even jump out and fire the grappling hook in mid-air. That rocket launcher there should come in handy for those fuel depots that I saw when approaching the base. There I opened my parachute by reeling in with the grappling hook, and that's a great way to quickly get up in the air. With that slingshot move again, I can stay in the air, and this buys me some time to take out those fuel depots while avoiding enemy fire. The grappling hook attaches to anything with collision, so I'm completely free to grapple whatever I want. There are no predetermined grapple points. The chaos I cause is constantly being tracked in the upper left corner of the screen, and there I can also see how much of this military base I've completed. Okay, let's switch back to that assault rifle, since the rocket launcher is just about empty. And let's head off towards that water tower over there. The signal strength in the upper left corner indicates that there's a collectible nearby. Let's take care of this guy here first. These collectibles can be exchanged on the black market for upgrades. Okay, I think he's dead. This pull move is really great for taking out single enemies. Well, enemies never learn to stand clear of exploding barrels, but let's deal with this guy in a somewhat unconventional way. The dual hook can tether any two objects together, and this is really something that you can experiment with and develop your own style, so let's see if I can try out a few things here. The basic trick is to tether people to people, or I can suspend enemies from structures. You can even tether an enemy behind a jeep and take him for a spin. In fact, you can drag any object behind any vehicle. My favorite trick is to lift an entire jeep under a helicopter and use it as a wrecking ball. There's a greater variety of enemies in Just Cause 2. There's an elite down here and I need to be a bit more careful with him. Or a bit more inventive.
the AI has been completely redone from scratch, so if I stay still for too long here, they will immediately try to flank me. But I should be able to deal with this guy with some triggered C4. Yeah, even state-of-the-art AI can't deal with exploding barrels. Okay, I want to finish this base off now. Some grenades while parachuting should do the trick. Well, that's 90%. Last one now. And that's it for this military harbor. Okay, I completed the settlement and caused enough chaos to unlock a new mission. For this mission, I need to get to the Panau Falls Casino Towers, so let's steal a helicopter and leave this base. Okay, I could have ordered a helicopter from the black market, but this one is free, so that's better. Like many other military vehicles, this one is built in weapons. Okay, in this mission I need to save an agency foreman named Carl Blaine. He has barricaded himself on the skywalk of the casino. I'm gonna use the building here as cover and try to take out the helicopter that's attacking Carl Blaine. No, missed him. Yeah, got him. I'll make a flamboyant entrance. What are you doing, you idiot? Really, really you my wonderful people. Oh, you really are one crazy ass. O.B. But I am Carl Blaine, drunk and disorderly. Now, let's go to my car here and I'll drive you to my crib. Okay, now I need to protect Carl Blaine from the military pursuers. And the new vehicle stunts for Jessica's 2 will come in handy here. Blowing a tire at high speeds can cause the car to flip. There, a stun jumped over to that other vehicle to hijack it. Before I can hijack a vehicle, I first need to get rid of all the guards inside. The grappling hook is a great way to quickly get to vehicles. Now I gotta climb around on this vehicle here to take cover from enemy fire. And from this position I can also use my weapons. I'll put some triggered explosives on the roof. Let's get rid of the vehicle with dual hook and set off the explosives. They keep coming so let's use some more C4. But I better make sure that I'm nowhere near when I set off the explosives. So let's deploy the parachute. And then I can trigger the explosives from midair. I'll grapple back to Blaine's car now. Similar to on foot combat, I need to keep moving to make it harder for enemies to aim at me. And that means climbing around on the vehicles, or getting from vehicle to vehicle with a stun jump or the grappling hook. Grenades can also be good for keeping pursuers away, but it can be difficult to cook them to get the right timing while I'm standing on this roof here. Okay, that's it for now. Colbain is safe and sound. I hope you like what you've seen here, and I'm looking forward to show you some more in the future. Just Cause 2. Coming 2010.